We did not trade today. These are the trading system signals, hypothetically speaking, on Monday, October the 10th, 2022. Today was Columbus Day. The cash bond market was closed. The futures bonds were open. Uh, the stock market was open. Futures were open. And so changed the tone a little bit, fairly choppy. And we talked about this on Friday. The strategies had a good uh, plus $9,100 day. We said, let's not trade on Monday, or I'm not trading. And so I'm going to wait for a drawdown on Monday. And I'm going to show you where the total drawdown is right now. This is as of Friday, minus 3,900. And so if you add today's trade to it, minus 6,200, you are at about minus $10,100 drawdown. And out of 27,000, a dollar drawdown. So you're about $17,000 away from a worst case drawdown. I'm going to wait for a 5 to 7K drawdown. It could happen intraday. So if the strategies are down 5 to 7K intraday, then I may start trading intraday or I may do it on an end of day basis. This is the drawdown curve that we're looking at. Had this recent run up to here. It had a run up, then a drawdown, then a run up. And the drawdown is right here on Friday and then right back down to about this level which is a frequent level. It's right about the $10,000 $10, level, kind of wait for an intraday drawdown to about this level, and then get in and risk you know, 12K on the 200K portfolio or about 6% to phase into this for Q4 trading. Let's go over the trading system signals on the day. The S&P strategies were 0 for 2, COVID 3, got short here. Jamie Dimon came out and painted a bleak picture for the economy in a recession. And then Lael Brainerd, Lael Brainerd came in and uh, spoke a little bit what the market perceived as dovish. So the market had a big midday rally intraday. You can see that on the one minute chart, but no follow through. I thought this might follow through some more and some of the long trades would have been profitable, but it just kind of had this rally on Lael Brainerd and then chopped the rest of the day here on Columbus Day. Bonds really sold off today. I'll show you a picture of that in a minute, but Cobra 3 lost on the short side. Momentum reversal, it lost on the long side because there was no follow through. So um, you get your short stopped out, then your long exit at the end of the day, down on the day. And let's look at the NASDAQ strategy. 0 for 2 on the S&P, 1 for 7 on the NASDAQ. Gap continuation 2019, market was selling off, and then it bounced on this. Uh, Jamie Dimon, sell off, Lale Brainerd rally. And so... Uh, EVP, same thing here, EVP1 took the long trade, stopped out, then it ro tried to roll back over, sh uh, got short, and then closed at the end of the day. Uh, took pulse, shorted on Jamie Dimon, stopped out on Lael Brainerd, overlapping Q, got short before Jamie Dimon, stopped out on Lael Brainerd, Cobra 3, shorted on Jamie Dimon, stopped out on Lael Brainerd. Momentum reversal, tried to take the rally with Lael Brainerd and... Um, it was actually profitable. This is the one strategy that was profitable today. Plus 975 VTNQ got in before any of the Jamie Diamond, Lael Brainerd. And so um, so those are the trades on the day, Columbus Day. We did not take the trades. Once again, we are waiting for a little bit more of a drawdown. And we will get in intraday from this point on about a 5 to 7K drawdown um, or an in end of day. So watch those drawdowns to phase in on this portfolio setup. And those are the trades on the day for Monday. October the 10th, 2022, Columbus Day. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.